hello and welcome back to another video so in this video i am going to use node red in conjunction with home assistant so well it looks like that uh, both home assistant and node red do the same things but they excel in different areas home assistant's main power is its ability to interface and control any smart device existing at the moment and uh, the main way of doing this is using uh, yml files that can be complicated and intimidating for any beginner this is where the strengths of uh, node red naturally complement those of home assistant node red allows flow based uh, automations and these automations are very simple to create and very powerful and user friendly so in this tutorial we are going to use node red with home assistant so home assistant will be used to integrate all the devices and then we will use node red to create automations and add some awesome features to it so let's get started so first you have to install the home assistant on raspberry pi and a, a complete guide for installing home assistant from scratch on a raspberry pi is given at the link in the video description so first follow that link and install home assistant on raspberry pi 4 and uh, once you finish installing you will be welcomed with a dashboard like this here i have one two uh, buttons one is for led and as other is for fan so a complete guide for adding these entities and uh, integrating devices is also given at the link in the video description so follow that link and first add your devices to home assistant and then we will uh, go ahead with uh, adding the node red add-on and then automate these devices using node red now to install node red add-on on home assistant uh, first go to the supervisor tab and uh, from here go to the add-on store then uh, scroll down and uh, search for the node red add-on so here is the node red add-on and uh, by clicking on here you can uh, install this add-on so as you can see i have already this already have this add-on installed and it is currently running on my home assistant so once you finished uh, installing the add-on just go to this its configuration tab and uh, here first you have to add the credential secret that can be anything from your username to password or anything that you want then uh, you can set this ssl to false otherwise it will not start so if you want to add a ssl certificate then you can go ahead and add one or you can even change the theme so there are multiple themes available for this that you can uh, get to know about this documentation so it, uh, currently i'm using the dark theme of it so once you're done with the configuration restart the add-on and uh, then you can also enable this show in sidebar option so that uh, you can easily access it from the here sidebar so now uh, click on this button open web ui to open the node red so as you can see that uh, i already have a flow here and uh, this flow has two sequences so first uh, sequence is for controlling the fan and a second sequence is used for controlling the led so for this video i'm going to create the same flow again so that uh, you can understand that uh, how everything works here so for before starting this flow we have to install some no pellets uh, so first pellet will be for google assistant <coughs> and uh, this pellet is called smart nora and uh, it can be used to uh, control raspberry pi gpio with node red uh, from google assistant so for that first click on this menu icon and from here go to this manage palette option then go to the install tab and uh, search for nora so then install this second uh, node that is a uh, node red country is smart nora i already have this installed on my node red so once you finish installing the palettes uh, just create a new flow and uh, here first we will use uh, the home assistant uh, node that is event state this node is used to get the all the uh, entity states from a home assistant then we will use a switch function to divide the payload that is on or off and then we will send this payload to another home assistant node that uh, can be used to control the raspberry pi gpu so first drag and drop this uh, node to the flow then double click on this node and uh, here as you can see that uh, 
uh, this is the property space of it and uh, here uh, first you can uh, give any name to it so i am giving it led on off then select the entity id so entity id will be different for every device and uh, here uh, for led it will be switch dot led and for fan it will be switch dot fan so if you uh, type anything there will be a, some entities already so first we will create a sequence for led so select this switch dot led and id here and uh, leave all the other options as unchanged click on this done icon then what we will do is we will uh, drop the switch node from function palette double click on this node and uh, here first will be first payload will be on add another function and second payload will be off you can uh, change it name change its name according to yours then click on done icon uh, connect both the nodes and uh, here we are uh, done with uh, uh, getting the entity id from home assistant and uh, then uh, dividing the payload so next step will be checking if it is working or not and for that we can use uh, the debug node here so what does this uh, do is it will uh, print whatever it gets from home assistant and these messages can be accessed from this debug message window so let me first deploy this flow here and then uh, open this tab to a new window so that we can see it uh, how it is working So here this one is the noted uh, dashboard so let me open the both the windows side by side so this is our flow here and i forgot to connect the nodes so first let connect the all the nodes and then deploy it again okay so now if i okay so now if i change the state on the home assistant dashboard so it will be then printed on uh, this debug window of node red so it is not working for this fan because we have not added any node for this so now let's uh, get it get ahead and uh, add another node for fan but before uh, adding a node for fan we will remove this debug nodes and add this call service so what does this do is it calls all the entities or domains on the home assistant and uh, change the raspberry pi gpio according to the payload that we got from this uh, entity state so connect these two nodes double click on this node change it its name to according to yours so i will be giving it name led on then select the domain and uh, here the domain will be switch so select the switch service will be turn on and uh, entity id will be uh, switch dot led you can also add data to uh, configure your led according to yours i am not adding any, any data here so just click on done icon follow the same processor for this so name you can add uh, anything according to yours led of domain name will same switch service will be turn off and uh, entity i will be entity id will be same as previous switch dot led uh, save the changes and deploy the button here so with this done uh, what we are doing here is we are first getting the entity state from home assistant then using a switch node uh, to divide the payload and then uh, we are calling a call service 
to update this data on home assistant again so that we can turn on and off led using uh, this uh, so for fan we are going to the same same procedure again for fan also so first call this state id here change its properties according to that so here we will change the entity id to fan change the name to fan on off save the changes then uh, drag and drop a switch node again so it will be similar to our previous process payload on add another payload of save the changes then call uh, drag and drop to call service node connect these two and change the properties again so this will be fan off fan on domain name will be same as previous switch service will be toggle turn on and uh, entity i will id will be switch dot fan save the changes to the same procedure for other id other entity change the name to off domain will be switch service will be turn off and entity id will be switch dot fan changes connect all the nodes and uh, deploy the node deploy the flow so by this way now you will be able to uh, controlling your fan and led that is connected to uh, raspberry pi gpio using node red uh, using home assistant dash dashboard uh, but uh, this process can be easily done with uh, home assistant so now we are going to add another feature to it uh, that is uh, google assistant so for that first we have to scroll down and uh, drag and drop this switch node here so what does this switch node do is uh, it uh, gets the data from google assistant and then update this data on this switch node so first we have to configure it and uh, you have to add some configuration to your nora so uh, this is the email id and password that i am using on my nora account and a complete step by step guide for setting up nora can be found at the video description it's very simple you just have to go to the nora website and then create a account using the same email address or same account as your google assistant and then you have to use the, that uh, same email id and password here and then click on update and there's nothing uh, okay so you can change the payload here to true on and off so on and uh, this change this to off and click on done and then connect it with the switch home so what it will do is it will get the data from google assistant and then update the data on switch node so if it will be a on on payload then it will send it to the led on command and the, if it is a off payload then it will send it to the led off command so using uh, google assistant with node red is very simple process uh, as you saw so you have to just uh, create an account on nora website and then add a node to here but uh, the same procedure with home assistant is very hectic and uh, time consuming so that's where the node red uh, comes uh, so this this is the uh, advantage of using node red with home assistant home assistant can easily integrate all the devices but when it comes to automation and creating features it's very hard if you are a beginner so uh, and uh, using node red it's, it uh, becomes very simple so that's uh, that that was the purpose of creating this video so now uh, next we are going to connect the hardware on a raspberry pi side and then we will control it using google assistant and a home assistant dashboard so here i've connected uh, an led to raspberry pi gpi 12 and uh, a 12 volt raspberry pi fan to gpio 11 of raspberry pi 4 so now first i will use the uh, home assistant android app to control this led and uh, uh, fan and then i will use google assistant to control them so first 
as you can see that LED is turning on and off now same for the 12 volt fan Okay, so now uh, let me use the Google Home app. So, as you can see, that here I have two devices one is bulb and one is fan. So, if I click on this turn on button of fan, LED turns on, and if I turn off, LED turns off. The same for uh, the fan. So this is how we can use uh, Notred with Home Assistant to create some awesome automations and features. A complete step by step guide for building this project is given at the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video.